Akara introduced their new FP1E sensor earlier this week, and it's a game changer. Stay tuned, and I will tell you why. The Akara FP1E is Akara's more affordable version of their FP2 presence sensor, and what this means is that you get the ability to detect presence in a room using millimeter wave, but without all the bells and whistles. With the FP2, you have the ability to make more advanced automations using zone detection, which means you can create zones within a larger room and control certain smart devices within that room individually. For example, when I go into my kitchen and stand in front of my stove, my under cabinet lights will turn on. If I move to the sink, then said lights will turn off and the lights by the sink will turn on and vice versa. If I leave the room, then all the lights in the kitchen will turn off. This is possible because the devices are detecting presence and not motion. That is the biggest difference between both the FP1E and FP2 and a regular motion sensor. A motion sensor will detect motion in the room, but when it stops detecting motion, it will then turn off whatever device is controlling while you are still in that room. This is why presence detection is a game changer. The FP1E is smaller in size and can only detect presence as far as 6 meters with a 120 degree detection angle while the larger FP2 can detect presence as far as eight meters and has a detection angle of 120 degrees as well. You can mount this on a wall or ceiling, but keep in mind the 120 degree detection angle. So preferably you should mount this in a corner so you can get a larger detection area. When you open the box, you get the device itself, instruction manual, magnetic mount that can be mounted using the provided sticker, Please note that you will have to provide your own power brick as this is not provided. For a larger detection range, it is recommended to mount the device at a height of six feet. Both the FP1E and FP2 presence sensors work with Apple Home, with the biggest difference being that the FP2 connects via Wi-Fi and can be added directly into Apple Home using the provided HomeKit code. The FP1E, on the other hand, connects using Zigbee, and can only be added to Apple Home through a compatible Matter Hub, which will work as the bridge between the FP1E and your smart home. You will need any of Akara's hub that supports Matter. In my case, I'm using the M2 hub. You will first need to add the FP1E to the Akara app. Simply open the app, press the plus button on the top right corner, add accessory, click sensors, and select the FP1E Select the hub, in my case, the M2 hub, and then press the reset button on the back of the device for five seconds until it connects. Once in the Akara app, if your hub is connected to Apple Home through Matter, the device will automatically appear. If you can't see it in the Home app, as it happened to me, that's most likely because you haven't set up the M2 hub with Matter. Once in the Apple Home, you can set up presence-based automations the same way you would with any other device. I will also recommend you running the AI special learning feature. This will improve the sensor's accuracy. If you're in the market for a presence sensor that just does what it says, detects presence, this is the device for you. If you need something more advanced like zone detection, fold detection, sleep tracking, then you should consider the FP2. But I like this device so much that I have already purchased two, and I think this will change the way we automate our homes. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video and found it useful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.